Hey, what's up, guys? Um, this is going to be a video about red tail boa care, or just boa constrictor care. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm getting started here. This is uh, my boa. Uh, his name's Maverick, and uh, this is feeding time, so he's really up and ready to go. Um, so yeah, um, apologize for the Mega Blocks Castle stuff on the the crate. Um, just an old, old Tupperware container that we reused. Um, yeah, so, as for care for these guys, um, he's actually due for an Aspen change. Um, sorry, you couldn't get that clean for the video, but it is kind of late. Um, so yeah, so as far for care, um, who should buy one of these uh, snakes? Well, the first thing you need to know when you get one of these animals is how big they're going to get, and that's quite big. Um, they can get up to 6 to 12 feet. Um, I know it's double, but yeah, they can they can cap off at 6 if you get a small one. Um, usually it's like 10 feet, but they can get up to 12. Um, and they are girthy snakes too. They're pretty heavily bodied. So you got to keep that in mind. Um, when they're adults, you're looking at feeding full-size rats. Um, and if you get a monster, even uh, maybe rabbits, That's uh, you need a pretty big one for that. Um, so you just got to take that in consideration before you get the animal because they're really cute and fun to play with and easy when they're when they're small But they don't stay small um, So you just you have to keep that in mind before you purchase one of these guys um, And if you do get one and it gets too big for you first of all shame on you, but things can happen um, I understand so if that does happen Do not release it. It'll die um and even if you live in a place where it wouldn't die, still don't release it because you, uh, unless you live in Colombia, then I guess go ahead. Um, but it's just don't don't release animals into the wild because uh, that's how situations like we have in Florida um, with the monitors and the uh, berms, um, and we just we don't want any more animals getting banned. Um, if you want some more information on that, uh, you can go to uh, channels like Jake's got herbs. He's got couple videos on these stupid bands that they're making on snakes um, but yeah so um, as for like hus like their general husbandry um, they do well in crates like you see here you can put them in glass aquariums like a 40 gallon breeder they do great in those um, uh, he'd probably be in one if I had the space for it but they do just fine in crates like this um, they just make sure that it is a good size because they do need some size, some sizable um, room so they can stretch out. And this is actually probably getting a little small for him. Um, so yeah, we're probably gonna have to upgrade him. Um, but yeah, so sorry if I'm saying um a lot. It's a bad habit. So um, there I do it again. So if you want to put them in. Uh, a tub or a container, just make sure it's appropriately sized. And if you want to give them height, that's fine. Um, just more room the better, to be honest with you. Uh, they do need a water dish like this to be able to soak in, because that greatly helps them with shedding. Greatly helps them with shedding. Um, if you don't give them a water bowl or give them very humidity, they'll get all sorts of shedding problems, like every snake does. Um, and those can just be a nightmare uh, and it's just you don't want to go through that so make sure you give them a water bowl big enough for them to get their whole body into and soak um, so yeah you can see I have a pretty pretty big one he can easily get in the whole thing as for bedding uh, newspaper is probably the best um, I just I hate the look of it so I use Aspen Aspen's uh, fine um, it's fine for pretty much every snake, um, except for sand boas, obviously, but, <laughs> um, so yeah, Aspen's fine. Uh, if you want to use reptile carpet, that's just like newspaper, so that's fine, too. Um, any snake bedding pretty much works for these guys, as long as it's not the kind of Aspen that's really, really dusty, because that can lead to all sorts of respiratory infections and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, as for humidity... Uh, these are tropical snakes, so you do want to keep keep a, the humidity up. Um, as for exact numbers, I couldn't tell you. Like I would say anywhere from 50 to 80 percent. Um, 80 percent might be pushing it, but you do want to go in here with uh, like a spray bottle and spritz their tank down once a day. 
and yeah, so, um, yeah, humidity is definitely a big deal, because a lack of humidity or too much humidity can lead to respiratory infections. Um, it's just something you got to deal with when you have one of these guys. Um, they are friendly snakes. Uh, it's all about handling. Mine, if I stuck my hand there in there right now, he would bite me. But if I have something like this snake hook here, um, it's collapsible, um, and I go in there and scoop him out, he's just fine. He's a puppy dog. Um, yeah, so it, they, they're very friendly snakes if you handle them regularly. And if you get one that's mean at first, uh, put some gloves on and go at it. I mean, you just got to uh, handle them and get them used to you. You don't want to force them. You don't want to stress them out, but you, you just got to keep trying. And if they never get tame, well, then you just got a bad one, unfortunately, but that doesn't happen too often. Um, you make sure you give them some sort of a hide, like I have an Amazon box that I made into a hide because I'm super cheap. <laughs> um, so, yeah, um, boxes like that work just fine. You can get some nice ones like that uh, log house right there. That works great, too. Um, it is nighttime, so that's why all the lights are off. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Feeding-wise, um, when they are small, you want to give them pinkies and fuzzies. Um, that you, you do want to give them bigger size mice as they grow, for sure. Like, if you think a mouse is a little bit, just a hair too big for them, give it to them. Because if you don't give them the proper sized mouse for their size, um, their jaw won't fully develop and they'll get problems with that too. So it's not that big of a deal, just use your best judgment. Um, if you think they're ready for a bigger size, move them up to the bigger size. Even if you think they're almost ready for a bigger size, go ahead and move it up to the bigger size. And if they can't eat it, they won't get it down, and you'll know. Um, also, if the, you feed them and they're just immediately ready for more, like they're just hunting around, and absolutely no satisfaction at all, you probably gave them too small of a mouse. Um, but sometimes they just never want to stop eating, too. So it's a lot of ambiguity with it, uh, snakes, but um, so is the life of a reptile keeper, am I right? Um, so yeah, uh, heat-wise, if you have a hot room, like I do, heating really isn't a problem at all. Um, they, are d they do fine at room temperature. Um, if you have like a 60 to low 70s degree room, uh, make sure you give them a heat pad. If you have a, an aquarium, you can use a heat light just fine, uh, but if you have one of a, a thing like this, a heat light will melt the plastic and it, it'll hurt your animals. And they'll, if it doesn't hurt them, they'll escape. So, um, heat pad. If you have uh, like this, and you might want to like put a towel and then put the heat pad underneath the towel, um, because you don't want it melting the plastic either. But I don't know if the heat pad's enough to melt the plastic. But um, they do need a heat source if you have a cooler room. Um, so yeah. Um, there's not too much to these guys. They're pretty simple. Um, I'll give you a closer look at mine. Hopefully, I won't snap in my fingers here. So yeah, there he is. I think he looks pretty swagalicious. Yeah, he's got that nice red head and the red tail. So yeah, they're really pretty snakes, and they are super duper friendly if you tame them. Um, so when they're adults, they're smaller, way smaller than like something like a Burmese python or an, uh, definitely an anaconda or a reticulated python. So if you want a big snake, but you want a snake that needs two people to get it out of the cage, then perfect animal right here. Enjoy. <laughs> um, they are kind of expensive if you go to a stupid pet store like Petco or PetSmart, but I don't know why you would go to the ones, one of those places. Um, I mean, if you it's your only option, you know what? Uh, you, uh, you're good to get it out of the abuse, but um, if you go to something like a reptile show, I got mine for uh, 30 bucks, and it was from a reputable breeder too, and he's captive bred. He even showed me the parents, um, so yeah, they can get super cheap if you do go somewhere else besides pet or pet smart. Um, so yeah, uh, if I forgot anything, I'll put it in the comments. Uh, if you have any comments, leave them in the comments, um, and I'll try to answer any questions that you guys make. I usually usually do. Uh, so yeah, I'm sorry for the lack of videos, school, it's, um, I don't want to make excuses in every single video, I'm just going to have a slightly less regular up uploading schedule, but um, I, I do have a reptile video planned, um, I, ha I still haven't gotten many more reptiles, but I have gotten a few, so um, yeah, so look forward to that, um, I'll see you guys in the next one, see ya.